Welcome, nerds, to the comic books and book news for the week. Uh, this is where we talk about all things comic books and literature related. So if there's a new book coming out, we're not going to get into individual arcs necessarily, unless there's some sort of like major publisher-wide effects that are going to be related to said arc. We don't really get into individual arcs or individual issues. We just talk about the broader news at large. So without any further ado, let's talk about some comic books and possibly some books as well. Now let's talk comic books and uh, maybe some books. No, I don't think we got any books this week, but we do have uh, Cliff Blazinski is uh, in the comic book news here. Cliff Blazinski, famous for Gears of War. We also have Children of the Vault is a new Marvel comic book announced and Free Comic Book Day is bringing up some news. So uh, let's jump into all of the things. First up, we have a trailer for a new book. We have Avengers book number one. Uh, May 17th is going to be the release of this. Writer is Jed McKay, who wrote for Moon Knight, and uh, Marvel's Stormbreakers artist C.F. Villa, who also did Black Cat, is going to be the artist on the project. Uh, trailer... <laughs> Comic book trailers kind of are either fantastic or not great, and I would say this one's more in this in the latter option. But go watch it and form your own opinion, I guess. That's what we got for trailers. Let's talk about some regular ass news. Uh, regular ass news. First up, let's talk Cliff Blazinski. So the name of this new comic, Cliff Blazinski, again, one, very famous for bringing us the franchise of Gears War over on the Xbox side of gaming. Uh, the name of his new comic book that he's uh, writing is called Scrapper. Uh, it is a six issue science fiction series focused on a dog of the same name, Scrapper, who rebels against the controlling forces of a post-apocalyptic city. Uh, it is being co-written with Alex DeCampi and the artist on the project is Sandy Jarrell. It is going to be creator owned and published by Image Comics. So Cliff Blazinski and Todd McFarlane are getting in bed together. That's an interesting combination if I do say so myself. Uh, that's what we got there. Let's move next over to this new comic book announced by Marvel, Children of the Vault. Uh, we have Children of the Vault, the, the synopsis that Marvel gave us. Children of the Vault are back and they are determined to be humanity's salvation, but not everything is as it seems. And every utopia has its costs. What is the motivation behind these highly evolved beings gifting the world with their advanced technology? And how do Bishop and a now Orcus captured Cable figure into their plans? Again, the synopsis from Marvel. Uh, the artist, or the writer rather, on this is going to be uh, Den Denise Camp, uh, who did 20th Century Man. Uh, the artist is going to be Luca Maris Maresca, who did Photon Monica Rambeau. The book will be on shelves uh, August 9th, so you've got a few weeks, and that's what we've got on that one. Let's move over into uh, continuing on the Marvel trip, but talking a little bit more about Free Comic Book Day. So, uh, Marvel Zero is going to be the big thing that comes after Free Comic Book Day for Marvel. Uh, it's going to be set up by a number of the books that they are going to have on the tables for Free Comic Book Day. Uh, Marvel number uh, Marvel Zero number one is going to have, which is the Free Comic Book Day book, uh, is going to have Spider-Man, uh, Venom, a Fall of X. We have uh, Uncanny Avengers, Ultimate Invasion, and yeah, it's it's going to be pretty huge. Uh, it's, I mean, it's, 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 sounds like it is going to be a big setup. Again, it's hard for me to get really excited for modern comic book stuff. Modern Marvel and DC, uh, specifically, just, uh, I just, uh, it's hard for me to get into them for reasons we've covered a number of times. So, and then, like I said, Free Comic Book Day is upon us, and uh, May 6th is the day for Free Comic Book Day. Go to your local comic book shop. They should be, that's no guarantee, but it should be, uh, your local comic book shop should be participating in Free Comic Book Day, which means you get free comics. Uh, it's kind of up to each individual shop if you can get all or just some of the free comics available. It's many, many, many comics to come from a, a bunch of different publishing houses, Marvel, DC, uh, Image sometimes, and some other indie comic publishers, uh, so on and so forth. But yeah, there, 
freecomicbookday.com, I'm pretty sure is the website. Go check it out. You can get the full list of books to expect. So that way, if your local shop only allows you to get certain books or a certain number of books, you can't get all of them. You can at least plan it out ahead of time. Again, May 6th at your local comic book shop. Go check it out. That is what we got for regular ass news, which means we're going into... Comic books and book suggestion. This is a legitimate comic book suggestion this week. We're talking Batman Eternal, James Tiny in the fourth. Uh, one of my favorite Batman authors. Uh, Batman Eternal came out in 2014. It was, I'm very sure, uh, part of the new 52, though I can't remember explicitly, but that was kind of my first introduction to James Tiny, and it's kind of why I really, really appreciate uh, the stuff that he's done for Batman. Uh, go go read it. I, I, it's a long book. It's super thick. There are a number of other writers involved with this. Scott Snyder, another one of my favorite Batman writers, uh, as well as Ray Fox, Kyle Higgins, and Tom, uh, Tim Seeley. It's, it's, it's really good. Go read it. That's your suggestion for comic books this week. Once again, nerds, this is just the comic books and books section from the Week in Nerddom, which is the much longer video that gets posted over on the main channel, youtube.com slash generally nerdy or at generally nerdy, however you got to find it. That's the main channel. You get the entire, usually around about an hour long video there uh, that goes into other topics as well. TV, movies, rumors, etc., etc. Uh, go check that out. Before we leave you, you, though, always, always remember that if it's generally nerdy, it's probably here.